all right my people welcome back on to this channel well this is another strong one reaching us still on the matter tinumbu has stopped your impeachment why are you still hell-bent on becoming governor group sense warning to ayeda tiwa all right my people the news in details well onto this they express concern over reports that ayeda tiwa might be conniving with some members of the House of Assembly to assume the role of acting governor. Speaking via a statement issued to journalists in Akure and signed by its publicity secretary, Ogunika Taiwo OPN, warned that it would be disrespectful for Aida Tiwa to act contrary to the resolution in the meeting. Well, onto this, they implored. He implored the deputy governor to desist from getting involved in activities that could destabilize the administration and then undermine the progress of Ondo State. Taiwo stressed the need for all members of the administration to work together towards the common goal of advancing the interests and the development of Ondo State. OPN said, since the meeting held last Friday with our Hamebu and then responsive President Bola Tinumbu, we have observed a growing trend of discontent and then dissatisfaction within the camp of Deputy Governor Loki Ayedatiwa. The activities of his personal aides and then known and the close allies have raised concerns over the total rejection of the sense of the stance of the president and then other stakeholders who attended the abuja meeting according to the statement i quote we are saddened by the latest news and the speculations of plots by the deputy governor in collaboration with some members of the house of assembly to declare him acting governor against the resolutions reached in abuja we consider this an act of insubordination and then gross disrespect to the office of the president we would like to advise the deputy governor ayedatiwa to be guarded in his ambitious drive and then resist the law of desperation and then his insatiable quest for power. We are privy to the fact that arrangements have been concluded to disobey the directive of the president and then declare Ayedatiwa as acting governor tomorrow. We don't want to believe the rumor that money has exchange ends and then some people want to justify their pay beyond personal sentiment we must uphold the integrity and the principles we are known for in ondo state let peace reign supreme in ondo state the deputy governor should also as a matter of urgency call his followers and alias to order what else does ayedatiwa want the president has stopped your impeachment you have been guaranteed to stay till the end of the tenure why is he hell bent on becoming acting governor all right this is another strong one reaching us where earlier before now we have not talked about the fact that the people of undo state where they were complaining they were complaining bitterly that the they were complaining bitterly that the no governor has not been acting, has not been performing simply because he has been unwell. And then you know, constitutionally, the majority of them believe that he is supposed to at least for now step down for the deputy governor to continue as an acting. But at the end of it all, it was gathered that the president made it clear no you deputy governor continue being your deputy and then forget about being an acting 
governor that it won't work but this time around the people are now complaining that it is not going well with the deputy governor because himself and his allies they are trying to make sure he becomes the acting governor by all means well this is exactly what is reaching and then there's still been a lot of reactions you know this you know we have talked about the fact that as far as nigeria is concerned constitutionally when a governor a sitting governor or president is not ld is not working the deputy has the right to continue but in this case when the governor is not working it is now a refusal on the part of the president given this kind of order well a lot of people have been reacting in different forms anyway onto onto this well what does the constitution say in the circumstances all right hmm exactly what i just talked about what does the constitution say in this case if the governor is incapacitated to discharge his duty he should hand over to his deputy as acting governor pending when he fully recovers that's exactly what i just said you know that's just what we are talking about but what is now happening right now well uh, according to kennedy ugoji says well i don't know the details of this wahala between the governor and uh, his deputy my take is that there is no constitutional provision for absentee governorship for his length of period all right therefore he should transmit power to his deputy pending his full recovery and then return to his seat exactly what everybody's talking about right now hmm. well according to wali alonga said well at times i laugh when some educated illiterate and the illiterate are personalizing constitutional issues where well, constitutionally this is a very simple issue take it or leave it no one prays to be sick but anybody can be down at any time it is crystal clear that the governor is not only sick but incapacitated well the laws is very explicit about this the issue of trying to be in active capacity all right so no issues at all it's been cleared by the constitution as automatic translations disgraceful that the mess is happening in on those states all right my brother my sister we are getting it all here african politicians they will rather die in the seat of power hmm. so akere dolu want to remain governor ever with fact that even with the fact that he is incapacitated well this can only be possible in nigeria all right that's another one you can hear what a lot of people are actually talking about and exactly what it is hmm educate me and then a uh, governor doesn't displace the governor well it is a constitutional clause that enables a full functioning of the government pending the safe arrival of our dear governor akere dolu well in all this you need to understand that the people have actually said it all constitutionally the deputy governor it's supposed to have taken over but right now what is happening that's exactly what we are talking about as far as this hey, regime is concerned baba god now your hand with day huh well meanwhile let me have your own take my people on this one and then remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel for the first time all right thanks and god bless